I was cutting some trees down on my property. I decided to save some of the trunks. They're not too thick, so I thought I'd use them to make some walking sticks or something. It got me to thinking about my father's hand axe. I looked around and found it in the shed. I'm gonna clean it up and make a leather sheath for it. My dad's not with us anymore. I think about him every day. I realize everything that makes me who I am, I owe to him. Of course, I have branched off, but the starting point always has its roots in the lessons my father instilled in me. In 1970 or 71, my folks bought the property I now own and maintain. Since then, a city has grown up around this place. Our homestead was built in 1948. It used to be that this town was on the outskirts of Miami. Not the case anymore. My father had many tools and would work around the house and property. When things needed fixing, as opposed to calling someone in, he'd do it himself. He'd always call me to his side and would have me help him out. At the time, I really just wanted to play G.I. Joe's and ride my bike. Thirty years of lessons, even though I didn't care at the time, did shape me and imprint itself in my mind, which has come to serve me well. As far as I've been able to gather, this is a fuller number 16 hand axe and it's drop forged. I've dated it to the 1970s. We had all sorts of trees here growing up. Avocado, mango, banana, lime, and many more. This little axe has seen a good amount of work around here. It may not be the best axe in the world, not the most expensive, but for me, it's a connection to my father and the life I had when times were so much simpler. I miss you every day, Dad.